We are very excited to have this gentleman with us this morning as well. He is the star of the new Marvel movie, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, Simu Liu. Welcome to GMA, my friend. And this is your first time here. So, you know, first time guest. We got to bring you a little gift. Do I get a special welcome? We got to welcome you. We got a little, yeah, awesome, you. We got a little swag oh, for you. That, there you go. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Welcome. I love swag. Yes. <laughs> All right, what am I? Can I go through it? Am I supposed to go through it right now? <laughs> later, later. Yeah, later. Okay, all right, all right. I'll open a gift in front of the panel. I'm really excited for the mug, though. I'll thank pick you. it for you. I'll pick it for you. I got you. Oh, that's it's very sweet of you. Thank you. So it's your first big tour. I know you took your parents to the premiere. What'd they think? Uh, I think they were very relieved that I didn't suck. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I think they have a, a very immigrant parent mentality of like, uh, you know, always being anxious and, and expecting the worst and hoping for the best. But, uh, you know, they, they, throughout my career, they've never let being an, an electrical engineer get in the way of them giving me acting notes. Like every, you know, after a show <laughs> called Ken's Convenience, and a, like after every episode aired, they would always send me a text saying, um, your face looked fat. Or, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you too much tent, like, so was it okay with your immigrant parents for you to be an actor? Uh, no, not so much. Not so much. <laughs> um, it, 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 it didn't go well initially, and, and understandably so. I mean, I mean, they're very academic people, and uh, when I told them I was giving up a career in finance and accounting, they were obviously a little bit upset. <laughs> um, and it took a few years to kind of get them to come around, but I feel like now with the... Superhero movie. I mean, I just Kinda feel like it. I made my point. Right? <laughs> I love the story about that goes back a few years that you kind of manifested this. In 2014, you tweeted at Marvel yeah. and you were kind of like, hey, what's up? How about an Asian American superhero? Then the movie comes out and you're like, hey, Marvel, let's talk. Uh -huh. You, you kind of put this out there. There's something to be said for putting this out there. You did, know, I, did they see the tweets? I should <laughs> ask you. <laughs> I am willing to bet all of my life savings that they did not. Um, <laughs> I, I had like, I don't know, maybe like, 14 or 15 followers at the time. And I don't know, I just, I mean, I, you know, when like nobody's listening to you, you just yeah. start shouting stuff anyway into the ether. And I, and I feel like that's what I did. So, you know, yeah, I, I remember watching, you know, Civil War, it must have been. And being a huge MCU fan, I was always like, well, what about an, you know, what about an Asian hey, one? Hey, and, yeah. and, you know, just kind of tweeted it, forgot about it until I got announced as, the, you know, the, the new Shang-Chi. And then, um, somebody was like, hey, do you remember that you tweeted this all the way back? Uh, which is, you know, I was like, no, I had no idea. But uh, I think it does, you know, even though nobody read it on the other side, I feel like it's important just to know that you can manifest it into mm -hmm. the, like you can give yourself permission to pursue your passions. Like I feel like so many of us have these dreams inside us that we kill before we even say it out loud or we even let ourselves imagine it just because we think there's no chance or you know it's it's not possible. And now your dream is a reality. You are the first Asian superhero in the MCU, but do you feel pressure by playing this role? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think I'm feeling it a lot now, just being the first Asian lead hero in the MCU. We have obviously it's a it's a special moment for our community. I, I feel like when we were making the movie, though, I mean, Destin Daniel Cretton, our, our director, did such an amazing job of kind of keeping us focused on doing good work. And sometimes when you go to work with the pressure and you keep thinking about it and it makes you anxious, it really tightens you up. And I just feel like the best onset environment for, you know, good work and creativity is one that's loose because you have to be willing to take risks. You have to be willing to do things that don't work, you know, um, in order to find that special little something. So we really just kind of tried to keep it loose and he did, a, he did an amazing Job of that. Let's show you taking some risks. You have the wrong guy. Does he look like he can fight? Come on, bro. You okay? A lot going on on that bus. <laughs> Stay tuned, yeah. It's not, uh, not your typical bus ride to work. Uh, what are you guys all We're freaking me out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And all of a sudden, I, everyone's holding little miniature me. Oh, well, minis. with every good sur superhero comes a, an action figure. So we got yours. Did you go out and, and, and buy them up in bulk? I did. I did. I, I, heard, you know, I heard the day that they were coming out. And um, I, I unfortunately drove to many targets in my area uh, asking for them. And I 
kind of sent pictures to my friends, and then they got really excited, and they started driving out to targets, and we was all it was just like this one big text chain of like, now I'm at the Target at Jefferson, now I'm at the Beverly Center, and people <laughs> just sending me pictures of the, and now we have this like giant pile of action figures that we have nothing to do with. No. So, if you guys want any extra? Yeah, I mean, well we're well, keeping we, these. We saved ourselves a ride. We've been brought yeah. us here, man. We haven't even gone to the store for it. And uh, one of our favorites is here tomorrow. Your co-star, Aquafina. Yes. So, is there anything we should ask her? What do you think? You should you should definitely ask her about her poll work in this movie. It's fantastic. Oh. It is top notch. I, I I promise you, it'll make sense once you once she tells the story. But uh, she yeah, her her work in the poll was was absolutely unmatched. I Am I even allowed to say? I don't I even know. know. I have, All I can I, say I is, have a follow up, but I'm not going to ask. I will make sure I preface the question by saying you asked me to ask. Yes, yes. I, uh, I'll, I'll take that one. See, but we appreciate you coming in, man. We know it's been a, a whirlwind tour for you. We're so happy. I cannot, we cannot wait for everyone to see this film. Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings is in theaters on Friday. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.